Hello and welcome to the Recursion Cafe, where we play games from the discard pile. In today's game of Unmatched, we have myself on the left and Paul on the right. I'm playing Doctor Strange for the very first time. He is a 14 health, 2 move fighter who is ranged. His psychic Wong is also ranged with 6 health. After each combat, Doctor Strange can, if you play the card, he can take a damage and put that card on the bottom of his deck and draw another card. It's extraordinarily powerful. Paul is playing She-Hulk, a solo melee hero with 2 movement and 20 health. Her ability is to throw something at someone else, so at the start of her turn she can discard a card to do your damage to someone equal to the boost value of the card discarded, which can be very strong, especially if she's clearing out sidekicks. That being said, it does burn cards out of her hand, so that might be a consideration. And we're playing on the new map, which is Sanctum Santorum, so we're going to get to see some of the new uh, items being used, one of which I think is to fetch a scheme from your deck, which is something we haven't seen before. Here's the first attack, it is a 7 Sons of Cinnabus, boosted by an item, into a Cease and Desist, which is also boosted by an item, so the item and the ability of uh, my card is cancelled. I will use Doctor Strange's ability to cycle a card and maintain a 7 card hand size, I believe, and we'll attack again. So here is another 7 Sons of Cinnabus into a Defense Rest. I will of course lean into it and go ahead and boost that card, even though it will draw more cards before pull. But we'll boost it, blind boost it, sorry, and it's a bolt of attack for a 6 value attack into a 2 defense, meaning She-Hulk draws 4 cards. So I, I get the impression that health is a resource for She-Hulk, especially with cards like that. So she's down to 15 from 20, which is pretty good on turn 2 on my end. But that does mean she gets a load of cards in hand and she gets to throw Savage She-Hulk at me for 3 damage. I can't say I'm terribly upset to see that card go just because it is such a threat, but there is still another one in the deck. Here's a leap toward, meaning that She-Hulk can get up to me and gain an action. So these are all good ways to use the cards that uh, pulled through through the defense rests. So it's already like, two out of hand and no action spent. Here is an American level threat into a cloak of levitation, a silly powerful card that just cancels uh, the value of any melee card and any card that is played next to him. And of course, being so powerful, we'll cycle that back into the deck. So far, Paul has done three damage, I believe, with, with throwing an item, and then I've taken two damage myself. So we have a Cease and Desist into a Mr. Munifor, but Mr. Munifor on defense actually triggers first, and we'll discard Cease and Desist, and we'll cycle to the next card, next viable attack card uh, from the top of Paul's deck, which will be Sensational, which means I take two damage, and Paul gets to choose a card from his discard pile and shuffle it back into his deck. I think on the whole that was a win for Paul. I would have taken two damage if Cease and Desist had not been cancelled, but there we are. Savage She-Hulk is shuffled back into the deck. We do have to read and reread a lot of these cards because I think we're very unfamiliar with the set, but so far it seems to be happening as it should. And already early on I'm down to half health, and speaking of, uh, I played the Eye of Agamotto to shuffle my hand into my deck and draw five cards and gain an action. I think I had 5 cards at this time, but I don't think it was a particularly good hand, so I'll draw back up, maybe try to find some healing to put myself out of auto-kill range from She-Hulk's ability. She-Hulk is still looking plenty healthy on 15. Strange will swing, and it's a Rings of Ragador into a green energy. There's the attempted healing, uh, but She-Hulk fully defends it, and I take a damage from the effect there. It looks like I don't cycle the card because I'm running low on health. Here's a Wind of a Tomb into a Legalese. So here's where we thought Legalese was a terrible card. It's a two versatile where you have to win the combat to trigger the effect, so we just ignored it for the rest of the game. And then we, I realized in editing that we were both bamboozled by this card because if you read the fine print and continue reading the whole, all of the terms and conditions, it has a clause if you lost the combat instead. So well done, Justin Jacobson, you got us. If anyone who doesn't know, uh, he's a lawyer by trade in real life, so it's quite telling that uh, he wrote that card. It's very full of theme, even on a meta level. Anyway, Paul plays a double jeopardy, heals two, draws two, and he's back up to 15. We did get split apart once I played Winds of the Tomb, but he's taking this opportunity just to heal up and draw up because technically Doctor Strange has the ability to action gain, and so having options in hand is always handy just in case. And more than one or two attacks get get off. So here we have a Jennifer Walters Esquire placing She-Hulk in a starting space, drawing card, gaining an action. And that is a telltale sign of my inexperience with the set that I put myself next to a starting space. Luckily it's Wong and not Doctor Strange. So here we have a double jeopardy to draw two and recover two. That may have been the card he drew off of the previous scheme. But he's still threatening, he's still next to Wong and he'll uh, take a swing. 
I will choose the Defender and as a Steadfast Disciple, defending against the Sensational. So we both get our triggers. Uh, so I will deal one damage to uh, She-Hulk and draw a card, and She-Hulk will get to place a card from her discard pile back into her deck uh, to shuffle. And it's a green energy, which is a fantastic card because it value blocks a lot of stuff from Stranger's deck and deals auto damage. So now it's back to me. I have a bunch of cards in hand, but I'm also right next to She-Hulk. I do want to get away and be out of range of her ability. So we will maneuver and we'll play No Really, I'm a Doctor and heal for three by placing the other one on top of the deck. I mistakenly thought that you could take a damage to put this on top of the deck and draw a card again. I didn't read the uh, Doctor Strange ability properly, so it is actually only during combat and of course does not include schemes, which would be even more crazy than it already is. So there we are, we do fix it and uh, I do heal three and that's it. And we know what's on top of the deck. So here we have a legalese into a Master of Camartage. Uh, once again, we miss the legalese text, but um, we both would have gotten the uh, drawback or the uh, advantage. So it's less of a big deal, I think, especially in our first game. Here we have our Master of Camartage, full value into a full value defense with green energy. That means Wong gets pinged for one, better Wong than Strange, typically. Uh, but Wong will, uh, sorry, Strange will take a damage to uh, recur that back to the deck and draw a card. It is not only recursion, it is also card advantage, which is incredibly strong. And then we'll maneuver away and stand by one of the battlefield items there. So we've created some distance, but now, unfortunately, I'm down to three cards and it looks like She-Hulk is gaining actions and cards as well. So this isn't looking like a great position for me. She-Hulk still has 16 health to my eight, so uh, we're, on, we're on half health in comparison. We do have more healing in the deck and more healing capacity, but uh, as it stands right now, I'm definitely on the defensive. I typically want to shoot and then move, so I'm not uh, too terribly upset by this. Here is a nerve cluster strike into a feint. I take one damage and the ability does not trigger, but that's fine because it was my turn anyway. I don't think Doctor Strange has many uh, movement effects, apart from Winds of Batoon. So I will take a damage and draw another card, especially because I'm in such low, such uh, low hand size. So I'll attack with the item, and it's a three value Cloak of Levitation into a Nerve Cluster Strike. So the ability will still trigger, I cannot move, but I will nullify Paul's value so that three damage does go through. I did punch some damage through, but I'm now on five, uh, so it's not it's not a thing great still. We took three damage a piece and that definitely favors She-Hulk. She-Hulk will leap toward. And by leap toward, I mean leap through and run away. Not sure what Paul was thinking here, but I don't think he has many cards in hand either, or at least not many defensive or offensive options potentially. So he wanted just to kind of get some space, I think. So it crucially does not get the action gain with leap toward because he's not next to me. I will heal again with No Really I'm a Doctor with a bot of Pathak and put that on top of my deck and draw it again, which is a really good draw in any case. If you were to combo those two cards together, that is potentially extraordinarily strong. So here we have a boosted maneuver from She-Hulk, boosting with the defense rest because at this point he's running to exhaustion so he doesn't want to draw more cards. It's a green energy into the Miss of Manipal, which discards that and attacks instead with Cease and Desist, which doesn't cancel anything, but it's still full value, which uh, sucks for me, <laughs> to be honest. So I take two damage, but we do discard a green energy, which would have been technically more damage if I, well, unless I defend it with something else. So here's a bolt of attack into a nerf cluster strike. Once again, I cannot move. I will apply boost, and it's a cloak of levitation, which is possibly the worst thing I could have boosted with. Not only does it not win the combat, it is also a very powerful card against She-Hulk. So there is some of the risk reward that you have with Strangers blind boosting. I don't know if I would have made a different call if I'd known the deck better, but here we are. So here's a Savage She-Hulk, this is the big one, and I play a Mr. Monopole, which does throw it away and we'll find another, another card and it's a green energy. So that's three damage through overall. I do rue the day when someone plays Mr. Monopole against Savage She-Hulk and it discards into another Savage She-Hulk. That would be incredible. As it stands, however, Strange is on two health and She-Hulk is on 13. So I think I'm just delaying the inevitable at this point. So we'll maneuver 
and well, we won't even step away, we're just going to attack again. Here's a Rings of Ragador into a Legalese. So once again, we, we ignore the text there. Um, but I do win the combat and I do heal two damage. And I will take a damage to put it back in my deck and draw a card. More for the card draw, I think, than the uh, effect. So here's a Sensational into a Sins of Sunimus. I will blind boost once because it will guarantee winning of the combat. It's three to four. Here is a Winds of Batum getting me just to that four value threshold to perfectly defend. And there's a maneuver by Paul who will step away and out of range so that I have to come to him if I want to attack. And some of my healing is based in attack, so that's a decent strategy to get me to walk right up close to him. It's a bolt of Balthak into a our first Lady Justice. So the top card is discarded. It is seven, seven Sons of Cinnabus, so it's a value for defense. I don't think I, I, I tried a blind boost. So I think I just got to swing for the fences and it's a feint. So that was a terrible decision on all sides. Um, if I had gotten a three, I would have won the combat and gained an action, which would have been handy. But sadly, that wasn't the case for me. Paul is backing off now and realizing that I have to come to him to deal some sort of damage, especially if she's on 11 health. He's a Rings of Ragador into a Lady Justice. And of course, it's a two booster on top of my deck. So I get no healing and do not win the combat. Yeah, Lady Justice is quite the card. So then Paul will maneuver. At this point, he is running low on deck, so he will exhaust, but he's still on 11 health to my three. So he just has to push three damage through. And the auto damage ability is particularly relevant here. I think Paul may have forgotten to fire it because this is still new to us, but it would have been, I think, pretty money here. And of course, I have to try to run because that's my only chance right now. I don't think I run far enough. Again, it's just not knowing the, the map well enough. But, uh, oh, he had a three in hand. Well, he had a three at that point. He boosts with Savage She-Hulk, will swing with Omega level threat, and I have no defense for Strange. And that right there is game. So there we have it, our first experience with Brains and Brawn. We definitely didn't pilot those correctly or optimally, but hopefully it's a good insight or introduction into how mind-bending these characters are and how much there is to think about when they're looking at new design space. Thank you everyone for watching, see you next time.